Welcome to our class! Today we'll be learning about height and how we can measure things using the things around us. But first, let me introduce you to our friends who are going to help us learn today. Here in our class we have Nick, Kira, Jamal, Shaba, and Miriam. I've sent each of them around our classroom to find something that we can measure. But before we start measuring, let's review what height is. Height is the distance from the bottom of something to the top. In a person, the height is the distance from your feet to the top of your head. You can measure your height using a lot of different things. We can use things that are standard, like rulers, inches, or feet. Or we can use things that are non-standard, that might change depending on where you find the object or who made it. Examples of things that are non-standard are things like cubes, counters, and paper clips. Today we'll be using non-standard measurement tools, specifically paper clips to measure the things we find in our classroom. This will still give us an idea of how tall things are, or what their height is, even though it's not a standard form of measurement like an inch or a foot. So friends, now that you've all had a chance to find something in our classroom to measure, let's get started. First up is Nick. Nick has found us a pencil. We're going to measure Nick's pencil using paper clips. We're going to do this by starting at the bottom of the pencil and adding paper clips one at a time until we get to the top. Then we can see how many paper clips it took us to get from the bottom to the top, and that will tell us the pencil's height in paper clips, like this. One, two, three, four, five. This pencil is about five paper clips tall. Now it's important to note that when we're doing non-standard measurement, sometimes we have to estimate or make our closest guess to how tall something might be. If we look really closely at the top of our pencil, we can see that it goes a little bit beyond that last paper clip. But we also can see that if we added another paper clip, it would be too tall. So we're going to stop at five paper clips and say about to indicate that it might not be exact, but it's as close as we can get. Thanks, Nick. Next up is Kira. Kira has found us a yellow crayon. We're going to measure the yellow crayon with paper clips just like we did with Nick's pencil. To measure its height, we're going to start at the bottom and add paper clips one at a time until we get to the top, like this. One, two, three, four. This crayon looks like it's about four paper clips tall. Again, we can see that that last paper clip goes a little bit beyond the very top of our crayon, but one paper clip less would not be nearly tall enough. So our closest guess is going to be four. The yellow crayon is about four paper clips tall. Okay, Jamal, it's your turn. What did you find us to measure? Ah, a bottle of glue. Let's measure Jamal's bottle of glue with paper clips by starting at the bottom and adding until we get to the top. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like our bottle of glue is about five paper clips tall. We can see that the top of the glue goes a little bit farther, but five is as close as we can get without going too far ahead. So our bottle of glue is about five paper clips tall. Shava, it's your turn. What did you find us to measure? A pair of scissors, wonderful. Let's measure Shaba's pair of scissors by starting at the bottom, putting our first paper clip there, and then continuing to add paper clips until we reach the top. That will tell us the height of the scissors in paper clips. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our pair of scissors looks like it's about six paper clips tall. Thank you, Shaba. And last but not least is Miriam. Miriam, what did you find for us to measure? An eraser, lovely. An eraser is something small, so it's not going to take very many paper clips for us to measure. But let's start at the bottom and see how tall our eraser is in paper clips. One, two. 
Our eraser is just two paper clips tall. That makes it much shorter than many of the other things we measured today. Well, thank you so much, friends. You all found great objects to measure, and we used our paper clips to tell us the height of our objects in non-standard terms. Next time we meet, we'll be using standard measurement and we'll be learning about inches. But this is a great introduction to how we can measure things and figure out the height by just using the objects around us. Thanks so much, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.